give the Lord a hand of praise. Come on, come on, give Jesus a hand of praise. Come on, tell somebody next to you, this is my time of victory. Tell somebody this is my time of victory. Say, I can hear this, thank you, give it, I can hear it. Change the state, this is my time of victory. Hallelujah. Thank you, worship team. Hallelujah. Come on, give it glory. Ministries, and I want to greet my father, Pastor Lionel, Pastor Clive, Pastor Karen. So this evening, I have to say something else. I have to say thank you for the opportunity for the ladies, for the ladies. Uh, thank you for the opportunity for the ladies to our father. For those that doesn't know it, I know many of you do not know it. Um, Mr. Pastor Lionel, the, the guy and the um, the beautiful, handsome guy, and the, and, the, and the sound. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! And the other beautiful, handsome guy, I said, I'm going to thank you twice. I said, I'm so fast to climb. And we're so glad that they gave us the good of all this as we celebrate their birthday. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah. So we're great and honored. Who knows what is the team for, the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for this weekend? Yeah, let's say we keep the Sach. What is it? Amen. So talking in victory, come on, give our worship team a hand of praise. I will always say this is a battlefield. Hallelujah. So come on, you can do better than that. Give our worship team a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Then put your hands together for yourself. Give you a hand of praise for serving up. Hallelujah. And then give Jesus, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the altar and the finish of our faith. The beginning. Say it. 
to pieces. Torn to me. And he says, and always night and day there was, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus, I say when he saw Jesus, I say when he saw Jesus, he says when he saw Jesus afar, he ran to Jesus. And the Bible says, when he, and he fell on his knees and he worshiped Jesus, but he cried out.
to be walking in a season where we had a time, the church has a time, and we as the children, I'm talking about us, we walk in a time that we're going to begin to see the miracles of God. I have that, I have that to swear with thee, because if I'm a child of God, what he has done, I must do. If a child of this house, what my father has done, I must do. I cannot be in one place and not have the DNA of the king. I cannot be with him and not have that DNA. Amen. So I imagine myself, and I love doing that pitch. I imagine myself this man, but because the Bible says, and the people were scared. Now they were okay when he was in a wrong mindset. But Jenny would soon be But as Vijay died from Ukhano, they played so much. They played it. They played as a did it when he brought the out of Sudo. All pieces. They played that thing, that thing. They, they know you by your actions. Because many, the rejection has sent in. The heart has sent in. The rape has sent in. The abuse has sent in. You know, your heart continually, the moment you think that you have people that now you love you, you get hurt again. You get abused again. Now the moment you think that you step over that pain and that time that you now stand up again and again and again. And so that spirit became uh, uh, many. Because the Bible says they go out and look. If they say I'll come back and see if it's empty. But if you do not have a brother and sister that can carry you in the spirit, it will stay empty. Because does the word not say that we are our brother's keeper? Yes, I mean. Bible says and they looked at this man. And I imagine this man began to shout. And he began to say, Jesus. He began to say, Rabbi. He began to say, Rabbi. He began to say, I want to be with you. Because I've been in the grave. I've been at the place where people have rejected me. I've been at the place that I try my best in my family. I've been at my place and I keep and I keep and I keep. But it's not enough. I keep on getting hurt. I keep on getting up. Is that the same person 
Why did it start this person? Let me tell you. We are in a time that God is raising us up. He's raising us up to say, now it's time to walk in victory. This is the year for this church. Is possess your possession. Walking in victory and taking territory. You have to arise, not only in victory, but you have to arise to take territory. Because what Jesus has for us, your pain, your hurt, that which you have faced over the years, that which your children has faced, that is over. Tell your neighbor it 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 is over. Hallelujah. Because Second Corinthians 2 tells us. But thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ. He always leads us in triumph and triumph. Because we have the victory. There's always, he also says, for fragrance, he also says, and through us praise. This is the Amplified Bible. He says, through us praise and make us ever and everywhere the sweet fragrance of knowledge of who he is. There's a fragrance of heaven that does not come from anybody. It comes from a place of prayer. It comes from you seeking God. You know, there's sometimes we just sit. We just sit quiet. We just sit and listen. We don't talk. We don't say anything. We just sit. Because we want Him to talk. And sometimes it talks immediately, sometimes it takes hours. But you have to do this. Christ is looking for those that's hungry and thirsty. Not after the gift. Because the gift is there. But after him. After him. For who he is. The Bible says this man crying out. Crying out. Do you come to torment me? Do you come? Secret of secret hearts. There was a cry, I imagine. Save. His word says, Did you come to torment me? But his heart says, Save. 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 He pursued in his quietness when nobody was there. In his rejection when nobody was there. He pursued Christ. For it is Christ that we want. For this world has nothing for us. I told the Lord. I told the Lord in December. I said, Lord, as we were on the boat, I said, Father, I am tired of just seeing the church moving normal. I am tired of coming and going and not seeing miracles. I am tired, Lord, of not seeing salvation. I am tired. I want to see Jesus everywhere you went. The anointing draw people. I said, Lord, I failed you. I failed you, Father. Because I had many opportunities to reach the souls. But preaching was preaching. I said to the Lord, now, Father, restore me. We get so used to preaching. We're so used to. But one thing this world needed that man did was the manifestation of the power of Jesus Christ to us. I said and I said it over and over and over. And I believe this because God said it. And the word of the Lord says, every word God says comes down like rain, but it will not return void unto him because it will accomplish that which it has been sent for. I believe God said, He said this thing. We're going to see miracle signs and wonders. He said that. He said this thing. That we're going to go into the church and the glory of God will hit us. And we will be past that only two hours and three hours church because of the power of God. We need to hunger for more of Jesus. We need to hunger for Him. When we worship, it's not about who worship, but we worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords because we recognize if it was not for 
Jesus may would be a people. Her words cannot be just mere words. The words must be stone be stone. Her words must be this. Stand up. Her words must be what you want. I want to see. And lay hands and people see. You have to be hunger for more of you. I believe God is tired of playing church. There's no more time for playing church because there's a seriousness. There's such a seriousness in the realm of the spirit. Such a seriousness. And we're bound. People are bound to change. They cannot walk. I have seen for this last, last month and a half many ministers, many ministers, even now as I speak, they what's me. In the hospitals. They don't know what's happening. They're taking the hoisery. That's why, that's why the gatherings of the saint is so important. Because of the importation. We have to allow. And a man and woman of God says, Come, do you want? I feel this anointing. I feel and that is and that is a real man and woman of God. I run. I used to run for the laying of hands. Why? Because I wanted the importation. Hungry for more. Because we all have different gifts. We all move in different. I always say, you can be 50 preachers, 50 prophets, but you're all different. 50 apostles, but you're all different. Because we need that. This guy had different spirits of hurt, pain. And in every season, I believe nobody picked it up. Until the anointed one came and set him free. Mm. May myself and you and us as the church come to the point that we are representing Jesus on the earth. Amen. Jesus on the earth and not us. Not our gift, nothing, but Jesus on the earth. May we come to a place that when we walk in the victory of Jesus, that we know, Lord, it's all about you. Even when people say this and that, you say, Lord, it's all about you. Because it's about about Jesus. And I listen to our Father, and he keep on saying how many witches and hollows faced him and all those kind of stuff. You know, what do you think the anointing cost? The anointing cost wrong it cost. It cost. But we need to be willing for that. Hallelujah. Christ is saying this time. He says, forget about what people. Forget about what people's opinion is about you. Know that I have formed you. I have made you into my image. I've given you dominion and power. I've given unto you the crown of glory. I have knitted you together. I have, I have placed your name in the palm of my hand. Nothing can be compared to that. Nothing. When you call him your father. It's only when you can know to call Jesus your, his father that you know how to honor a father. So my, 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 my topic or the team is get out and walk in victory. Get out and walk in victory. In this moment, let's stand. Can we have this moment stand? Hallelujah. Where you are right now. Where you are right now in this moment. Hallelujah. Push your dick. Where you are this moment, lift your hands to Jesus. Sometimes family members will make you into what you don't want to be. Say what you don't want to say. And sometimes circumstances will come that was supposed to build us, wants to break us. But everything that Jesus allows us to go through is to build us. I love to say it's how you react in that that's important. As we lift our hands, as we just say to the Holy Spirit in your quietness, in your voice, Father, whatever is in my life, 
that I've allowed knowing and unknowingly that kept me in the grave and not allowed me to walk in the victory of Jesus Christ. That every time that, Lord, you pull me out, it pulls me back. That in this time, oh God, I ask of thee, Lord, to remove it. Because on the cross of Calvary, you died for us, Lord. And you went to a Hades to take the keys back. And you gave us the keys above all keys, oh God. He said, whatever you bound on earth is bound in heaven. Father, we take back our authority as blood-washed children of Jesus Christ. The same resurrection power that is in which you, in you, Lord, is within us, Father. There's another mile. There's another season that we will not miss, Father. We will not miss. Because, Father, we are desperate for you. We are desperate for more of you, Lord. We are desperate for you. We don't want to be worship or worship anybody or anything, Lord. Because you are the highest of all. So we say, I exalt thee, O God, above everything. And we refuse to serve any other God. Or have a God in our lives or in the lives of our family, Lord. Or any altars, Father, in the lives of our children. Because we know, Lord, that you are the ultimate king. If you are here tonight, maybe you struggle with going back into what I call anniversary attacks. You're going back to things that you know I've been here before, I've been here before. If you have been at such a place, I want to say to you, come to the front. It is your night. The night of Jesus together. I want to say to you, Jesus is here tonight. Maybe your children, people say words of your children. And that kept them from going forward. Kept them from, from progressing in life. So I want to say to you, come to Him tonight. Come to him tonight so that he can set you free. We worship you for you are the kingdom. Highly exalted, Father. Highly exalted. Some of your family members, marriages has gone through so many things. In the room that I worship, Jesus. Hallelujah. In the room that I was, Father, we thank you. Every time you try something, it does not happen. Only for a short while and it fails again. The spirits need to be moved because of what? He says, there's so many things, Lord, that keep me here. So many things that bind me, Lord. So many things that don't want me to go forward. But here tonight, I am here, Lord, for you. I'm here for you, Lord, tonight. Because I know you came to it. Family, that keep on coming into your marriage. Keep on speaking of your marriage. Negative things, if you cannot give, things happen. Just immediately happen. Sisters, brothers, immediately happen. Speaking, but they're not supposed to speak. The word of Jesus brings life. And it gives life in abundance. When God called Jeremiah, he left his family and all things. And he went off to Jesus. Maybe have a word, hear a word and constantly hear the prophet says this, the man of God says this, the preaching is this, but when is it my time? And you spoke against your own destiny. Tonight, Christ says, I want you to walk in the victory that I've given unto you. I have died so that you have victory. We exalt you because you are the king for 
your worship. Le brosha na ramo kabrosha, ore mer kondro bosha kabrondra. Yere berosha kabrondro bosha. The spirit of rejection has been so heavy upon you. Heavy upon you. You keep on feeling, I must do this, I must do that. Oh, Jesus is says like, yes, the father says to the prodigal son, no more do you have to eat with the pigs. It came to his mind. And he says, in my father's house, there's plenty food. And the father was already waiting for him. Not only waiting for him, but he came and gave him a feast. Put a new ring of covenant shape and a new cloak upon him. And says, my son, that was not you. When he told the story, he even left fuse out. He says, that was not you. This is my son. He waited for the son to return. Every day. Jesus is saying, I want to bring your family into restoration tonight. As a witness, as a loving witness, that people can speak over your family, over your children, and it can take years, sometimes quick, sometimes long. But he's still the God that restores. He's still the God that restores. Tonight I believe God wants to do that. Before our Father's going to pray, lift your hand. Pastor Ruslan, can you come? Pastor Karen, can you come? Hallelujah, we pray. We lay hands as the Lord needs. I exalt thee. Amen. Hallelujah. We exalt you, Lord. Nebro shanarabu kongro moshe. Nebro shanarabu kongro moshe. Kira, come on. We pray. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. We give you the praise and the glory. Father, we thank you. We break everything that is not from God.